Hello everyone, my name is Paul and we're going to be looking at a new Minecraft mod called Computercraft. Now, this is an amazing mod, I have to say. It's probably like the biggest, like, amazing thing I could think of to be in Minecraft, which is computers. And you can see, I've just crafted my computer, um, and I place it down and there it is. You don't have to set up any plugs, you don't have to worry about what's inside of it, it all works. Um, this guy has it all figured out, and so you, you right click on it, you open up the command prompt, and you can type in hello, it will say hello world back to you, um, it will bring up a list of things you can do, uh, you can go into programs, there are, there are a few programs already on there, um, for example there's an adventure, text adventure, which I'm about to go into now, um, which is basically like the old, uh, the old style um, text based adventure games. Um, based around Minecraft, so you can see you are standing in a forest it is daytime, there is a chicken and a cow here, and then I say help because I don't know what to do, and then it tells you you can, you can go to your inventory, you can look here, you can inspect, you can craft, you can build, and so I inspect the chicken, the chicken looks delicious, so I want to eat the chicken, um, but I don't have any because it's just the chicken, it's not actually in my inventory, so I go towards the chicken, um, it doesn't know what I'm saying either because I don't know the commands well. I'm the first time I've used the mod, so I punch the chicken, and the chicken is injured. Punch the chicken again. Chicken is injured again. Third time, still injured, still not dead. And then I attack, and it dies, and it drops chicken. So now, just imagine this is in the normal Minecraft world. You see, you have to actually say, take the chicken. You know, it's in front of you. It doesn't automatically just pop up. So, and then instead of right-clicking like in the normal Minecraft world to eat it, I just type in eat chicken. And then obviously it says it was raw, but I point out that it was um, raw. Sorry. Uh, and then here we have uh, the. It says learn about the programming APIs available. Type help APIs. Now this is basically um, the Lua programming language inside of Minecraft. So you can create programs, you can you can make it do an incredible amount of things. The possibilities for this mod are huge. Um, if you thought redstone, you know, the things that people were making out of redstone were crazy, this is going to be even bigger. And for adventure maps, all that sort of thing, at the moment it doesn't work in um, single ups, sorry, multiplayer, it does work in single player only. Um, I'm not too sure if they're aiming for a multiplayer version. I would definitely hope so because that would just extend the usability of this mod a ridiculous amount. So I'm just going to talk on a little bit here um, if you're interested uh, about this sort of stuff. You can, let's say you have your little house, um, maybe in survival multiplayer, um, and then you've got it protected. You've got all the blocks protected, but there's a door. And you don't want anyone to come in. Well, you put a pro, you put a, a program inside your little computer next to the door that that tells the door to only open if you have a password. So you type in your password. Let's say one two three. The door is going to open, and then you just close it again on the other side. Maybe you just put in the same password again. And so anyone else walking up to that, they won't be able to use. They won't be able to get in because you, they haven't got the password, and it's just you entering. Um, and this is the same sort of thing for um, if you're just playing single player. Let's say if you want to, when you type in something, you know, like you've got you've got some maybe a bridge set up, and you want to type in, I don't know, just type in bridge, and then but then that computer can also have other programs that that you can activate that do other things. So you can have a wired up to I don't know maybe a lighting system. Let's say there's a glowstone. Um, in the in the roof, but it has to be it has to be moved by um, some pistons to get down and give you light. Well, you can you can type in you know lights, and then your lights will turn on. And so it's sort of like you can do an amazing amount of things with this uh, this mod. And I want to give credit to Dan Two Hundred on the Minecraft forums. Um, the link to this mod is going to be in the description. So if you want to check it out, I know I didn't show you very much, but it is incredibly detailed. This is basically, you can, 
use your programming language if you know Lua. I'm not sure if there's any other languages you can use, but I know there is Lua. And you can create programs and anything, anything. Like there's huge, you know, you could make uh, a game or something, text adventures, whatever you want to do, and you could make a map for someone and they can play that adventure. It's, it's crazy. Um, so yes, this will be in the description, the link to this. You can download it, you can play it, you can learn. You can probably, this would probably be a good way to learn programming, funnily enough. I've heard that Lua is a more basic um, program language. If, you know, if, you, if you're learning program inside of Minecraft, you, so, you would sort of think, you know, oh, pff, you know, that's not, that's not boring like in a classroom or something or just reading a book. You know, you're in Minecraft. I mean, you're having fun in a video game. And you're learning something which you could use later, you know, to do, to make your own mods for Minecraft, which is incredible. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.